How's it going, guys? Teddy Mac here with Stax Gaming. <clears throat> so, I'm coming at you guys with my deck profile that I took to YCS Pasadena. So, staple, generic, you know, we do run the three Marthas for the deck, single starter for the deck, plus also, <clears throat> if you are able to leave this on board and DD Crow, um, you are able to XYZ summon on top of it, and that actually takes people by surprise. Um, most people don't read that clause of Martha. She, they think she's like every other Exo sister, where they need to move something. And then we also run Triple Ellis, because we have to. She is the Cyber Dragon of the deck, where she special summons herself if there's another Exo sister, and she is being brought out by Martha. So then the other piece of that puzzle is Stella. We run three Stellas because she works in conjunction with Ellis and lets us gain 800, plus she's, she lets us normal summon once more. We are only running two Sophias. Uh, that is what most of the builds are running and I see the reason why, but I also think I need one more. I also run just one Irene to finish off the, the Vadis slash Sophia Irene package. I would probably maybe up them the numbers up of these to to one more, so three Sophia and two Irene, maybe, possibly, we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> but as is for now, this is what I ran at the YCS. I also ran three D shifters. This card is an auto turn one negate for terror elements or sprite sometimes. Even, I uh, forgot the name of the deck. But yeah, so it's a very good hand trap. And then we are also running two Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion, a lot of graveyard activation and movements, and if you don't have the Exo Sister up on board, you could just negate them. And then we are running two DD Crows to remove something from Grave that is crucial, or to also activate Martha to help keep us extending. That's it for the creature count. This is the spells. We are running three packs. It is a searcher as well as a special summon, if you have the right names in grave, but essential for the deck. We are running one of Car Carpervidium. Uh, it's basically like an Omni Negate on the field, and it helps um, with your board in case they try breaking it. Then we are also running one Armament, which helps push for game. I do kind of feel like cutting this out, but for now I'll just have it in here as a name. Um, we are also running Three Dark Ruler No More, as it is the best spell to break boards as it negates everything and you can just swing in or banish everything. Um, speaking of breaking boards, I am maining three Raigeki, <clears throat> which is something a lot of the pros are doing, but they're citing it in case they need it. But I prefer it main because it is very helpful. And worst case scenario, I could just cite out one or two and that gives me space. Now, some of the stuff I was able to trade for were Pot of Prosperities. I only traded for two, but this card's really good as it lets you exile or banish either three or six from the extra deck and lets you excavate the top of your deck and then get one to hand. So I'm either going to be ex uh, exile banishing three to just dig a little deeper or six if I really need to dig for the Martha or just continuance. Uh, on to, we are also running two TTTs, Triple Tactics Talents. This helps in case they want to um, activate their effects during your turn. Flu, or for example, Hand Traps. It lets you draw two, so it lets you dig deeper into the deck. I am running the one of Mandatory Call by the Grave. In case we see it, I actually never saw it this entire weekend. Um, but it's still a card that needs to be in here. Then to finish off, we are running two uh, Exo Sister Vadis. This lets me special summon two Exo Sisters onto the board. And then also uh, during the end phase, they shuffle back into the deck. So if you time it just right, when they're about to do something, you summon two Exo Sisters and then you could overlay on top of each other. And finally, we are running three Returnia. Uh, it's a banish. And if you were able to Xyz them in this turn again, before you activate it, you could banish again. So it's a double banish, or you could XYZ with 
any creatures on the board. So if you use this in conjunction with Vadis, you're able to summon two exosisters, banish something, and then XYZ with those two exosisters into something else. So that's the main deck that I ran in the deck in the YCS. I feel it's very strong, but at the same time, to be honest, what I lost to mostly was Rogue. Um, against main decks like Sprite, I was able to take a victory off of them, and um, Rogues was the one that was giving me the most hearts, like um, Dinosaurs, or uh, uh, Layer of Darkness Stall was actually my first loss, and it was my first round. Uh, onto the extra deck, yeah, Nendo Guns. We are running three Michaelis. She is the best. You have to run her at 3. She has a banish, quick effect banish, and lets you search out an Exocessor spell or trap. And then we are running 2 Caspitel. Uh, to be honest, I, f I like her a lot too, as is she lets you search for any Exocessor. And then... Um... <clears throat> so sorry. And so it also helps stall out, like, uh, not letting them activate stuff from Grave. I also run two Jabreen, so Jabreen is mostly there for the defense because she has a big booty, but also she's also here because she's the OTK. So her effect is you could detach her detach effect is detach to all X XYZ monsters on the board that I control gain 800. So I could activate her effect and then use her to make Magnifica, and Magnifica would still be boosted. We are running just the one Asafiel. I feel like bumping this number up to maybe two. Um, it is useful because it's a um, compulse, and then also the effect of not of special summon monsters from grave don't get activated. So she is a, a little bit of a bit sweller. Uh, to finish off, we are running two Magnificas. <clears throat> she is basically just hits for game. She stalls for game. She hits for game. She's double banish <laughs> and the one thing I forgot um, I won the mayor but um, round 2 he banished it during his turn when he made it and then during his turn again he detached to banish again so then it took me for a loop because I forgot the banish effect was uh, once per turn not uh, <clears throat> it was a once per turn <laughs> Then we are running the terribly tired Tapir, Babushka. This thing is really useful and it's very helpful in this deck as if you can't really push hard. You just make a Babushka in defense and you have three turns of stalling. And this actually helped me against a Sprite player where I made this and then I was able to next turn just put into attack and swing over for game. We are also running one Exiton Knight, uh, again for more board break and also to Exile with a uh, Pot of Desires. Prosperity. We are running the Abyss Dweller, just in case. We are also running Gaga Ga Cowboy for game, as, but it's also mostly Pot Fodder. And lastly, we are running the Double A Zeus. Because if we can make it, we will, and we're just gonna keep breaking boards. So that's the deck profile that I took to YCS Pasadena. Um, so it's slightly different, not too much, but what really changes is in the side deck. The reason why the side deck is important also. So one thing that did change a lot is the side deck, and for a regional or something as big as the YCS, the side deck is important. And um, I was able, glad I was able to get a lot of these cards. So uh, to start off, we are running the one Drew's Worm. It's a new Bestial card that's come out. <clears throat> um, so this helps out because it's a dragon and then you can banish one light or dark monster in the graveyard and special summon this card and if your opponent has a monster, it's a, considered a quick effect. And then you can target one special summon monster in your opponent. Your opponent controls and sends to the graveyard if this card is sent to the graveyard. Um, oh, man, so sorry. Then we are running the Searcher, which is a 3 Magnemut. So Magnemut is basically a Searcher for the Druze Worm. It'll get it from deck or from graveyard. 
So you again banish one light or dark monster in either player's graveyard, and if your opponent has something, you can make it a quick effect. And then when it's special summon, just search out a dragon from you. So that's the small uh, bestial package we're running. We are scared, um, we do want to break back row as well as main board, so we are running the one uh, Feather Duster. We are also running the two Cosmic Cyclones. And then, because Tier Shizu is a really big issue in the meta, well, for me at least, we are running two non fusion areas to stop any of the fusion. And we're running three evenly matched to help break boards just in case we really need to destroy something and not get our stuff negated. So that's why it works in conjunction with uh, Dark Ruler no more. Lastly, we are running three goes in match. I might cut this to two, but for now I was running three and it was useful uh, when I saw it. <laughs> I never really get to saw it too much and when, when I sighted it, but it is a good card because everything that I saw was a mix of light and dark, or it was a mix of a whole lot of different but yeah, guys, so this was my ex -Y, um, my Exo Sister deck that I took to um, the YCS Pasadena. I didn't get to get such a good record as I would have wanted, but it's a learning process, especially since I was able to pick up more of the meta staple cards. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys want to see in the future, what you guys want to, you know, if you guys want to discuss anything, or if there's different games you might want to see us try out. So, thank you guys. Teddy Mag, out.